Hi, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays, and today we're going to talk about the life of a packet. And actually, a packet is a little misnomer because we deal with flows in the big IP. But, you know, packets have to get there, and then we take all the packets, we make them into a flow. Anyway, so we start when it comes into the box here. Packet comes in, and we're going to deal with the input-output. So we see here, here, we're coming into the box. And then the first thing we're going to hit, if this is a hardware box, um, is the, uh, the EPVA or the packet velocity ASIC. And here's where your hardware DDoS and your hardware acceleration is going to be. And so obviously if you have a situation where you've matched a signature in the hardware DDoS, boom, that's going to come immediately all the way down here to drop or reject. Sometimes silent, sometimes it's going to be outright rejected, depending on, um, you know, configuration. And so uh, if it's an accelerated flow, that's actually going to bypass all of this. And we're going to come up above here, and boom, we're going to hit the I.O. on the way out and gone. And that's, what, uh, that's what's taking care of hardware even before it gets into, uh, into TMM. And so after that, we're going to drop down here to layer two. And this is where your TCP dumps are occurring. So anytime you're taking a TCP dump, that, that's happening here. And then I don't have it drawn yet, but layer two over here. So on the way in or on the way out, TCP dump is happening here. And it's happening, oh, yeah, right here at layer two. And then also in layer two, your stateless packet filters. So again, with the stateless packet filter, if you uh, match something that's configured to, uh, to be dropped, then you're going to join this little path down, and, and you're going to come down here and drop and reject. Everything's good. Uh, then we get to a flow lookup. Then here is where you jump out of the standard flow that we'll get in here. Uh, or the standard workflow here. And so this is the flow table. And here at the flow table, you're going to get a query up to here. And so you'll query the flow table, and it'll send a response. And if there is a flow that exists, that's going to jump you up right into the HUD chain. And for those that aren't familiar about what the HUD chain is, that is the set of filters for like SSL and HTTP and TCP that you can apply. So if you're applying a profile to your virtual servers, that's where all these different protocols are starting to get looked at. And, and they'll climb from client side and they'll climb the stack through the, uh, you know, through the um, TCP stack. and. Uh, and then so if this is client side, and this is server side, then you hit the HUD chain, you climb this, the client side stack, uh, TCP, HTTP, or TCP, SSL, HTTP, if it's, a, if it's a secured HTTP connection, hits the proxy, then comes back down the HUD chain on the server side. And then you know, we'll, we'll deal with the rest of the flow later. But anyway, if a flow is looked up and it's there, boom, we matched a flow, and, and we're golden. If there wasn't a flow that's there, we're going to drop down to, to layer 3. That's where IP starts to get taken a look at. And then we're going to drop down to software DDoS. So at L2 through L4, DDoS is occurring here. Of course, if we have something bad happen, it's going to get sent to drop or, uh, or, you know, reject. If it's good, then we're going to come up here to the global context. And in the global context, this is where the, um, uh, the firewall, our, uh, our firewall product is. And so uh, global context rules. And so if you have any global context rules configured, and of course we have, uh, switch sides here real quick. The, so we have the net firewall, and then we also have IP intelligence. Okay, and those are uh, being looked at from a global perspective. 
And so if they don't match, then boom, we're coming down here to this, uh, yeah, this is uh, meant to put that in this box, drop, eject, so all of that, all of that's coming here. And then after the global context, we're going to look at route domains. And if we have any particular rules in the net firewall or with IP intelligence, then again, we will accept over to that level and then accept over here, or we're gonna drop down and drop and reject again. And then after we take a look at route domains, we're gonna do a listener lookup. And again, if, if you're familiar with any of the other talks that we've done, a listener is what allows traffic to flow through the box. So all of this is kind of pre-listener, uh, and there's some pre-checks, obviously, along the way that are going to drop traffic. But you're never going to get to a forward traffic state without having a listener, uh, because we're a default deny box. And so if there's no listener, obviously there's no match, and we're going to drop or reject that traffic. Uh, if there is a listener, then we're going to come up to the virtual server. And here we have the, the VIP, and again, we can have some network firewall or IP intelligence rules at the VIP level. And so based upon what happens there, we're going to drop or reject that traffic, or we get through this point, boom, all right, now we're going to create a flow. So we're like, woohoo! We finally got to where we're gonna we're gonna get into the flow table, people. So, so we create a flow, and that happens if there aren't any licensing rules for why that shouldn't be created. So, in the event of like a SSL uh, transactions per second, say you're capped at a thousand, and this is the one thousand and first, then sorry, you're gonna get dropped or rejected because you've exceeded your license. Uh, but if that's not the case, then we're going to go ahead and create your flow. So we're going to record that here. And then we're going to send on your flow onto the client side of the HUD chain. You're going to work your way through the HUD chain as we talked before, client side to server side. On the server side, we're going to hand off to layer three, which then hands off to layer two. Chains off the I.O. and out the door. So, life of a packet, people, or life of a flow in the, uh, in the big IP. So, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and we hope you enjoyed this edition of Whiteboard Wednesdays. <laughs>